Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Homeland, the official newspaper of the Republic of Western Armenia. An exhibition dedicated to the paintings of Armenian painters in Ottoman period opens in Constantinople. Today is the 100th anniversary of the massacres against Armenians in Agulis, the first Armenian organic wine at an international exhibition. American University of Armenia and Pixart established artificial intelligence lab. On December 15 of 2019 was published the 18th issue of the new edition of the monthly official newspaper of the Western Armenia. The official newspaper will be published periodically on the beginning of each month. In the near future, we will be published the Turkish and English versions of the newspaper. An exhibition dedicated to the Armenian painters who made a great contribution opened in Constantinople. The exhibition Armenian Painters in the Ottoman Empire at the Canvas Art Investment Salon in Constantinople runs from December 20 to January 20. The Turkish news agency informs about this and reminds that Armenians in the empire were very famous especially for their works in architecture and painting. They have authored a range of creative works and craftsmanship, from palace ornaments to theatrical decoration, from the magnificent Bosphorus trade to coastline to the formation of measures and pay certificates. Says the publication, the exhibition features artists such as Jivanyan, Simon Yazidjan, and Buzan Gojamanyan. Today is the 100th anniversary of the massacres against Armenians in Agulis. On December 24 to 25, 1919, peaceful Armenian civilians were massacred and the ancient Armenian settlement of Nakhijeman was left in ruins. It is worth remembering that in response to these massacres, the government of the First Republic of Armenia addressed the international community and particularly the Entente with the call to prevent assaults in the territory and ensure the safety of the Armenians in the region. Unfortunately, the crimes committed against the Armenians of Nakhijeman were not limited by the history of 20th century. In our days, the Azerbaijani authorities emptied Nakhijevan of the Armenians and launched the massive and systematic eradication of Armenian cultural heritage. This led to the complete destruction of thousands of Christian monuments. This will remain an unparalleled manifestation of cultural atrocities in world history. Wine culture is growing day by day, and organic wine making is becoming more widespread in the world. Organic wine, unlike traditional wine, is cultivated by chemical-free grapes. Organic viticulture has been launched in the Arani community of Vyadzor for three years, and this year Armenia released the first organic wine with the symbolic names 6100 and Crossroad. The 6100 produced from black grapes symbolizes the age of Armenian winemaking. Zarohim Muradian, director of Armenian Viticulture and Winemaking Foundation, said that the demand for organic wine in the domestic market is very high. They have produced several thousand bottles and cannot export in large quantities. The American University of Armenia and Pixart are proud to announce the collaborative launch of an artificial intelligence lab that will employ faculty students to conduct cutting-edge research in machine learning and computer vision. This offers students a unique opportunity to gain research experience in addition to apply software engineering skills greatly valued by companies in the IT field. Artificial intelligence is quickly evolving all around the world, and I think it is the right time to set the scene here in Armenia. We are very happy to launch the artificial intelligence lab in collaboration with Pixart to enhance research in this field. I am anticipating to see how this new initiative will take us a step forward into a center of excellence and surprise other countries, noted president of the American University of Armenia, Karen Marquez. Now let us represent to your attention a song Duna and Glechen. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.